his heart moved from this side of his body to that, which apparently <laughs> same thing happened to Princess Diana. Her heart had gone completely over this way. Yeah. It's fucked up. In the car accident? Yeah. When she was dead? Yeah. yeah. She, well, she, she was still alive when they came and got her. Really? She was still alive. Everybody's then, always still alive. Yeah, I mean, her heart. Like, she's, she Lincoln heart. was alive for like two days. Was he really? <laughs> Lincoln was alive for like a long time. He didn't like say his he last like, word. Yeah. Oh, Kill me. That what sucks. the fuck? Yeah. What if they shot him right in his free, his, free the slaves part of his True. brain? And then he got he got hit and he was like, what? John, yeah. Hey, come, let me put me on TV. What did I do? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I don't want to do that. We all have that part of our brain. Which part? FTS, dude. <laughs> free the slave part of the brain? <laughs> he got shot right in his free the slaves part of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> the angel, the angel on his shoulder. Yeah, he shot him right yeah, the, the angel guy. on his shoulder. And the bad guy was like, get them back. <laughs> get them back. We need them. I'm not going to do chores. <laughs> That's all it was. It was a bunch of dudes with wives going, when are you going to pick up that? <laughs> you keep leaving the cotton everywhere. And he's like, I'm going to get other people to do this. <laughs> that's, uh, I don't even think that's worth, you know, I don't think that was as funny as it was <laughs> offensive. When they said pay-per-view, I thought it was going to be like $99. I was yeah, like, yeah, fuck, yeah, dude, yeah, this yeah. is so much pressure. 10 bucks, though. No, 10 bucks. Get when you there. see the guests we get, yeah, you're going to say, I'm glad I spent that $10. You're going to say, whoa, 10 bucks is going to fly out of your pocket. 10 bucks even... is going to choose for itself to be like... Yes. Hey, ten bucks. Get back here. I, I guess I'll watch it. Yes. Fuck. I guess I'll check this out. But yeah, that's gonna be that's the future. Streaming stuff is the future. Yeah. I figured it out. <laughs> Streaming stuff is the future. Streaming stuff and paying to watch stuff immediately <laughs> it's the is, it's, it's it's the certainly is the present. It certainly is the present. Dude, let's just streaming. Let's just talk about technology. <laughs> <laughs> I went my I was back at my parents' house this week. It's nothing but cable, dude. It's insane. The geezers cable and it is so fucked up comcast it's terrifying. comcast just bought fucks old people it's just them speaking into the room they pay 300 bucks to be like oh uh, yeah. put, on, just put on the sopranos uh what episode was that it's, it's just, god damn it <laughs> it's you work Bob this thing just put on <laughs> hgtv <laughs> That's all my mom watches, dude. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I Have I talked about this before? It's no, insane. No. It's just a fucking lady. It's girl. Yes, we have. It's female porn. Oh, okay. It's literally a woman coming in and being like, this house is fine, but this is what you need to do. And the husband's like, oh, I don't know, honey. And she's like, this isn't a democracy. We don't talk like that. Yeah. I tell you what to do. I know somebody who did this recently, and they were saying, like, you know, we had a, a, a contractor, and they were like, they can't get anyone to work because of COVID. And I was like... Damn. If they were good contractors, they wouldn't believe in that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they get in there. If they and, were good with their hands, they yeah. would not believe in <laughs> COVID. Just the wax build up from the saws all the time. They'd be like, oh, what? Yeah, well, you don't want right to work. You don't want a you don't want a contractor that believes in science. No, not at all. You want a contractor that doesn't know anything. Yeah, just shows up and it's just like all right. But it's kind of right. <laughs> but, ended up, but also ended up being kind of right which is you know something that as a country we're gonna have to walk back and say sorry guys yeah i i think there is a thing like if, as soon as you hit like 48 ounces of like 7-eleven coffee you just get the truth they glimpse true they just glimpse the akashic records every morning and they're like f-350 you just listen to nick what <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is I don't think these things are going to be that effective yeah. as you say they are. Oh. If your fourth Sunoco hot dog at, <laughs> at 9.30 in the morning, and you're like, <laughs> the Democratic parties are the actual races. <laughs> you heard it here first, I do think. Legal. Heroin. Legal heroin? Legal heroin. Pfizer. Yeah. I think, I think one of them is going to control. That'll be another billion dollar entry. Right now, it's the, the vaxes, I think, are going to be like, they tried them. Dude, they're killing my mom. The vaxes. My mom's still getting vaxxed. The boosties. She's getting boosts. Yes. She, I, I was like, I told you, stop. The booster is like, stop com, getting the, the booster boosties. is basically Comcast. It's, yeah, if you're like just ripping off old, old people. You're getting it for some reason. Yeah, because <laughs> they still trust, they trust doctors. <laughs> like they, you know, you would think they're right. They go in, the doctor's like, yeah, you could, looks like you could use another booster. It's been three weeks. Dude. Why don't you shoot that shit back in you? I'll like talk to my dad. Like, what's your cable plan? He's like, it's like seven hundred fifty dollars. I'm like, dude, stop paying. This. It works for me. I just steal everything. Phil has True. HBO Max. True. You get to, you I get to watch the Phils. I steal four hundred dollars worth of Phil shit. <laughs> dude. He has no idea. I'm like, dude, you don't need. He's like, yeah, but it's right there. You're fl- You talked to my remote. Yeah. I'm like, dude. and that never. They're like, 
<laughs> Phillies baseball. <laughs> God damn it. Comcast Sports Network. <laughs> it's like, you requested Paw Patrol. God damn it. Uh, I had to charge my telephone when I woke up on Sunday yesterday. So I had to charge it at the front desk of the hotel, and I went and got breakfast by myself. Nice. I went to the Continental, you know that place in Philly? Yep. I thought it was a diner. It's not. That's like a Steven it's like Star a restaurant. pretty nice restaurant. So I sat there by myself without a phone. I don't know if you've ever done that. Going yeah. out to eat by yourself with, without a phone is I've done it a, a it's pretty times. weird, actually. Yeah, I felt very weird. Really? I didn't know what to do. And then the waitress came over, and she was like a cute young girl. Yeah. She's like, hi, do you want anything? I was like. I have a club sandwich and a Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> she was, like, all you she can just do kept is like, checking in on me, go. going, "Yeah, yeah, it's all you can do, dude." I was sitting at a table with nothing. I, I just there was Shut a homeless. Woman. I just watched a homeless woman. Did you? Yeah, she was just sitting there doing the Thank same God thing as me. Her. Just she just sat there. She didn't do shit. She asked people for money. No one gave her money. Yeah, but anytime somebody said no, she went. <laughs> she for real was going like this. Somebody would come by. She'd say something. And they'd go no. And she'd go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pretty reasonable whenever i'm in that situation i i try to prize myself on just like sitting up straight and not needing any distractions yeah that's that's all i was doing yeah but it's weird though it does yeah. feel weird it's like i'm gonna get it because whenever that happens to me i have the opposite reaction where i'm like these guys are all lost in their phones I'm no gonna, I was, I'm don't contact. get me wrong there was a lot of that <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. a lot of that i was like i'm kind of just more of a thinker <laughs> yeah, yeah. and all i was thinking about is man i wish i had my phone <laughs> I mean, I'm just I'm the only one keyed in reality, and you just yeah. look around, and you're like, man. Reality is just me and that homeless lady. Bull. Ooh, and then a guy caught me listening to their conversation. There was a table ah. like two or three booths down, and it was like a business, like the people that work together getting lunch. And he was like, yeah, this place you saw, they like have carpet all on the ceilings. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he saw me like look up. <laughs> Fuck. I'm a freak, dude. <laughs> just sitting here without a phone, just waiting for a turkey sandwich. That's, Jesus Christ. I was doing it today. I had a meeting. I had a business meeting. It was or not business meeting. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Me and a lady that works for a production it's company. Either a business meeting or yes, like it's a, exactly trying what it was. to like, you yeah. know, quit or just watching like meeting. gay porn or whatever meeting is. Uh, Only two types of meeting. Business meetings and being like, gay I'm addicted to sucking people's pieces <laughs> yeah. and getting high. <laughs> While she's talking to me, I was like, <laughs> I'd have to stop. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. I know. But I didn't know we were getting coffee. I thought we were getting uh, lunch. So I got coffee here. Oh, I a cold brew. And then we went to a fucking coffee shop. That's what you do. I had double coffee, dude. Oh, I was out of my mind. Up? I had a meeting with this lady and I didn't shut up. I was like, well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's the direction of comedy right now. And it is tough to sell sketch, you know, so <laughs> it was fucking wild. You were one more coffee away from going. <laughs> yeah, I was fully, dude. It was nuts. I was like sweating. I was doing impressions. I did impressions like four different times. That's the move. Get, get jolted on, on coffee, coffee and then just check your phone. Just like, I'm oh, sorry, I got time. I uh, just got to answer this. I have spots tonight. <laughs> That's what I do. I do stand up like you just not stop. So <laughs> Wait, anyway, what's going on with your company? I, when I tried to hold the phone, I was like, I was, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were getting coffee. I had 32 ounces of cold brew before this. Like, and then I ended it. I was just like, <laughs> okay, oh. goodbye. I literally, I was like, oh, my Uber's here in two minutes. But having the Uber coming is like the best thing in the mm. world. Just in the middle of a car. It's like, my Uber will be here in two minutes. Yeah, I got it's not two my minutes. fault. We I have must to leave. end the conversation. I thought it was going to take 20 minutes to get oh, here. It turns man. out it's just two. Anyway. It's nice when you're brand new and no one knows who you are at all. Yeah, it feels nice. But this lady had no, she, she had never, she was, I was like, I, yeah, I did a sketch show and she was like, what? Was, it's called, uh, <laughs> Gil, uh, it's called Gillian <laughs> um, Keeves. I was hoping you might have heard of it before we had a meeting. She didn't want Key and Peele. Yeah. It's Key, it's Key and Peele. Peel. I actually write that show. I'm black. <laughs> I'm one of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got to be. Send a representative. Like, I'm going to send a representative and then sit like two tables yeah. over and just wait. Over here and then towards the end go. I couldn't help but over here. <laughs> I'm actually the real Shane Gillis. I'm the one you were supposed to have this. Devil's double. I'm the one you were supposed to have this meeting with today. <laughs> you what gotta do start you think? Moving, you gotta start moving way Are smarter. Are you ready to start here. working together now? You gotta start moving way smarter. I do here. need to move significantly smarter. He's fucking like, 
I'm actually over here. I've been here. This text are halfway 40 through. 40 chest like, constantly. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, look over to this other table. <laughs> and I'll go. <laughs> and then run. <laughs> Sprint out of the meeting. <laughs> Leave a fake check to pay for your coffee <laughs> and run. <laughs> running. Running is very funny. Dude, <laughs> running run. publicly is dude, so funny. It's the best. It's a high speed lifestyle, dude. Running out of a le- running out of a restaurant is fucking so funny. <laughs> dude, I mean, what is the speed limit for people? What even is it, dude? What's your favorite thing to be? Rockstar? NFL player, comedian, or fashion mogul? What would you pick? Four. Four options. Fashion mogul seems pretty enjoyable. Or or a serial murderer who never gets caught. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> fashion mogul I like because they can just, you can, once you're in there, you can just make dog shit and everyone's yeah. like, wow. Fashion is, I hate it. You make like one dress a year and fucking like Kate Winslet wears it to like the fucking. Yeah. Kids' Choice Awards or whatever, Nickelodeon. And then everyone goes, oh, wow, she's wearing a Giuseppe Gazeppi's. This is a Giuseppe Gazeppi. That dress is $30,000. It's so good, right? She's so hot it's right shit. now. It's shit. It's complete yeah, shit. Yeah, fashion would be nice. Although, that'd be so much pressure, dude. Someone, imagine people getting under your skin, being like, the fabric's sort of joke. <laughs> and you'd be like... <sighs> that was the point. I was using the fabric as a statement. You just smack some fucking bare-ass teenage boy, like, Get out of here. I'm Ooh, angry now. Do that again. They've angered me. Uh. <laughs> go get Giuseppe, some... please. <laughs> Giuseppe, get out of here. They've Giuseppe, Giuseppe, please. <laughs> the not, not the night. I mean, that's, that rules. You get to be a gay dude that gets fucked up on wine and cocaine every day, and you just put gibberish on a skinny lady. So fashion mogul, obviously, that, that tracks. Serial murder never gets caught. You're a little but I don't want to murder people. Yeah, but I'm saying you don't get caught. So nothing bad happens. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you heard what I said. <laughs> You're not going to get in any trouble. <laughs> Dude, it's a victimless crime. You're not yeah. going to get in trouble. <laughs> no, that'd be terrible. Yeah, murdering. <laughs> a torture. But now in this, <laughs> yes, in this scenario, you want to murder people more than anything yeah. on earth. Yeah, same people have been like really mean to you in the comedy community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you got a little Ron Swanson in you. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, a little twink Ron. Come on. I'm what? straight as a devil. That's fine. I mean, dude, Sh- Sean, it's not going to do you any favors being straight in this business. Yeah. Sure, you're right. Uh, if I were to write I would listen short, to what everyone says about you. <laughs> if I- <laughs> <laughs> so if I were to write a short, it involved you just literally light petting with another man. Would My you girlfriend's out of town. You come over to set up the podcast. Matt's like, oh, shit, I hit traffic. I'm running late. Yep. It's just you and me. I'm like, let's play some UFC. Yeah. We start playing <laughs> UFC. I'm like, do you think you could do those grappling moves to me for real? <laughs> you move this thing out of the way. You and me go at it on the fucking zebra rug, dude. Think of my naked body contrasted against this beautiful zebra rug. That would be pretty nice, though. Yeah, you're right. That would be nice. You smash me, Mish? <laughs> That would oh, be nice. Sean's big ass dick. Holy <laughs> fuck, dude. They're Give me another fireworks. film idea, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Film idea. That's a good one. You come over here. I'm like, yo, let's go to Blackbirds. Pass out. <laughs> you and me drink a little. <laughs> come back here. <laughs> you gay as hell. So cool as guys, we can like joke around like this with each other. It's like no big deal. True, yeah. I don't think of it. <laughs> I don't think of it later when you guys leave. As soon as you guys leave, I watch I mean, you leave. I, li- I move the so curtain. I, I make sure you leave. And I go, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matt's hair looks so good today. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to a meeting. And go, oh. I go to a meeting. And go, Dude, look. <laughs> We're here hey. with the Lamar. Lamar. Hello. Dude, they Lamar think- James. <laughs> what do you call you? Lamar Joe. <laughs> Lamar Joe. Your host for this evening, Lamar Joe. <laughs> it's all goofy. Or it's all Give it for Osmosis or- Jones. Os- so tonight's the State of the Union, dude. We yeah. get to see Joe. Yeah. We get to see Lamar jo- President Lamar Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> he gets to come out and talk his shit tonight. Do you remember that? He told me what oh, yeah. the hours were. I was like, you're never doing that. He's like, yeah, huh? <laughs> I was like, you, and I'm not judging you because I would no. do the same thing. I would not have made it two weeks. Yeah. I would have slept day three. I would have been like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> What's the new gig like? 
Because you're in logistics right now. Yeah, I'm in logistics. It's pretty, oh, yeah. I got a Chevy Colorado, dude. Yo. Yeah, whipping a big Chevy Colorado Damn. now. Yeah. But that's, you got to keep that at I got to keep it at the office, though. I can't take that but up that's to the your city. baby. Yeah. That's nine to five, five. That's your baby. That's <laughs> my baby, nine to five. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice, though. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, dude. You oh, should show them how good of like, You should get it, like, detailed and, like, tell yeah, them, like, I'm taking really good care of it. Get it wrapped. Yeah, get it wrapped with your fish. We pulled up on Gardini's house. Lamar was like Winnie the Pooh going into the fucking. He went into Lamar's in search of soda. Dude, I was he was running running for he soda. Was, he was milling around no. the house, dude. I you love Mike, I love Sean's parents, dude. <laughs> oh, his oh, parents, really? yeah. He's like we Winnie fed- the Pooh for high fructose <laughs> corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Time for something sweet. Did you find anything sweet? No, I didn't get any. Yeah, he has a bottle of water. water. Oh, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, that's okay, dude. And I heard you you were whimpering on the ride when they said they weren't going to get you <laughs> no, a genuine draft. No, I would never, dude. I was yeah, just, one single know, tear it. rolled down your face <laughs> in the liquor store when we said, we don't really feel like drinking you know, genuine drafts at noon today. I was a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed. Yeah, now you're happy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. So you're just sipping. Well, you're a working man now. You're driving, a, you're driving the silver, not the silver out of the Colorado. Yeah, Colorado, dude. Yeah, you- I don't get it. Yeah, that's man. what I'm struggling with. What, the war? With. I don't understand. Why? Why Putin would do that. Dude, that's what I don't understand. He's upset. He needs some. He needs some puss, dude. Oh, he's horny. Well, uh, yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I never thought dude, of it that way. Putin's horny. <laughs> dude. If you're fucking horny, you'd blow up the Ukraine too. How horny are you, dude? I blow up the Ukraine. <laughs> you want, that's why you're mad. You wanted Chernobyl. You wanted Chernobyl yeah, I wanted for Chernobyl, yourself, dude. I wanted all those three-eyed sluts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wanted the girl from Futurama. Yeah, dude, Leela. You yeah. wanted a bunch of Leelas giving yeah, you a head. Chernobyl is good pussy, dude. <laughs> About it, last night I had to move to our temporary location while we remodel. Mm-hmm. And I was just kind of, I would complain and get pouty. Also, by the way, I'm very tired. Short mm. fuse. If you tease me, I'll fucking spaz. <laughs> dude, dude. Matt almost fucked this guy up on the traffic. So I'm be driving, dude. What happened? Half bar yeah. of dark chocolate in right now. <laughs> I'm having like shoulder pains. <laughs> oh, yeah. From dude. our hard fucking hotel workout. Yeah, dude. Well, no, I'm saying for uh, probably like pre-heart attack stuff. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> no, every time I start comp- complaining and getting pouty, I'm like, I mean, obviously this is inconvenient. I'm very tired, but it's like, I'd be so much more peeved if I was at war right now. Yeah. Kind of like, yes, what I'm doing is pretty str- I mean, it's not a 10 out of 10. It's a three. <laughs> it's stressful, yeah. dude. So, I mean, yeah. you know. Don't being, let the fucking Ukrainians st- steal your stress. That's what, I'm, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I had to talk yeah. myself out of last night. Be like, I mean, that is annoying, but dude, what you're going through is gen- like, genuinely yeah, very annoying. You can be hungry. I was basically comparing my situation apples to apples, and I was like, yeah, they had me beat on a couple of metrics, yeah. but we're both very stressed out right now. <laughs> I'm doing a yeah. remodel, and I have to live in an apartment for two months. Yeah. Dude, I had to hang yeah. fucking uh, sheets up for curtains last night. Mm. Actually, that kind of I do kind of like that, though. Curtains I don't best. know, dude. I was doing it last night at like midnight, and I was like, if someone would hire me to hang sheets up in their house with thumbtacks instead of curtains... I could do that for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Yeah, pushing, pushing a that into a fucking wall, right oh, through cloth. Yeah. Into fu- that was my only reprieve, dude. You're gonna be a professional crack house remodeler. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was telling Brittany I want to design the track. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> Lawn nice, chairs, big boys. You got some big boys. Oh, I'm sure they like big TVs. No, I I used to inspect like fucked up, like houses people were squatting in. It would be like. Two inches of water on the floor. Little kids in their underwear running around. And you go to the bedroom and it'd be a big boy. <laughs> catch one of those on there. That's nice. And just a fucking, just a fat, lazy dude. Just a tired fat. Just in bed like, who the fuck are you? Now, like, this was you, before you, I heard you could play. Dude, Somebody, I heard through the grapevine that you were only, pretty good. I've only been challenging you for three years. Well, you're, <laughs> you're you got to go through O'Connor first. Person. You got to go through O'Connor first. Yeah. <laughs> First level, dude. <laughs> I like the anime sound effects. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Did you ever use to pool hop or garage hop? Yes, both. Fuck, it how was sweet was that? So exhilarating. You get like God. three wine coolers. Oh, jump in a pool. Pool and get hopping out. was yeah. so fucking fun. Pool hopping's fucking. Pool rules. hopping rules. You just get out and you run home. Like, oh, I didn't think this through. Soaking fucking wet. Yeah, it was still awesome. Yeah, well, you were like, "Holy shit, we did it!" All of a sudden, it's so funny. You'd be like, goddamn kids, get out of here! <laughs> get out of my pool. Dude, the buzz These goddamn off, kids are having fun for one second. Just three Michelob Ultras from a garage. Yeah, and garage, in a pool garage hopping was is actually in hindsight very risky. Yeah, you can catch a fucking fucking dude with a shotgun. You get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I fantasize about catching someone in my house. Especially, dude, if you caught, if I caught like three teenage boys punk. in my garage, I'd shut the door and just terrify them for four yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. And be like, you guys are going Flick to flick the lights. Like, yeah. dude, you guys are going to jail. I am the. I convince them I'm going to like chop them up and eat them. 
Yeah. And then be like, no, I'm fucking it. I'm fucking around. Yeah. Right now, do you, are you guys ever going to do this again? Yeah, true. I just scared you straight. <sighs> they just come back and beat the hell out of you in the night <laughs> <laughs> in your bed. Just fucking. <laughs> yeah. I would feed them beers. I'd be like, oh, you guys want beers? You guys think you're tough guys? Let's drink some fucking beers. They just drink you under the table yeah. right away. And be like, oh, I'm fucking love yeah. you boys. Yeah, like that exchange, dude. You're like, I mean, let's show each other our penises. That teacher, yeah. <laughs> I'd get all drunk and be like, seriously, who do you like at your school? <laughs> I see. Oh, that one? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, she's beautiful, man. Yeah, you should, be talk, you beautiful should talk to her. Just talk to her. That's one of my biggest regrets is I didn't. <laughs> so many beautiful girls I never even talked to. You guys are handsome guys. Which one of you has the biggest dick? For real though, which one, I know which, which one of you guys has the biggest dick. Take him out, fellas. <laughs> yeah, there was that guy who got busted <laughs> at awesome. my school. I'll show you mine. He got they they alleged. They I'll alleged. I'll show you guys mine right now. <laughs> True, trading. You guys want to see how it looks when it gets older? You want to see some <laughs> It looks different, dude. It's just <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my fucking show me penis. Get out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. house. Why'd you guys make me do this? Yeah. Yeah, being naked with an intruder when you're naked is fucking so funny. Oh my god. I, I I've talked about it before, but Sean Taylor. I believe he was naked. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna I don't know if I am putting that on falsely, but I believe he came out. No, one at of them, them was naked. Naked is strong. I don't know, but he did come at them with a machete. And apparently he was screaming. In the house, in a dark house. Would you rather a guy naked come at you or a guy with clothes come at you? Because you think clothes. You, a naked guy though, you think you like you peep those fucking balls and fucking. But also just the sheer shock of it of just someone swinging their dick. It's at so you. much scarier of a guy you like a guy with. Yeah, that guy's crazy. Yeah, it's a nat Yeah, true. You don't want to get like their butthole on you. Yeah, true. No, that's fair. You know what I like is when dudes break in at like drunk guys come home to the wrong house and yep. pass out on the couch. Yeah, those are good videos. I Some know guy someone, I like, know what are you did doing too? What are you doing in here? And they're like, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we will get out of my house. We were down the shore as like a family, and someone I knew did that. Ended up in the wrong house. Someone who who is no, it was, it was like one oh, of like it's like extended family. Pass out in the Pass house. Pass out wrong house. Cop I could be came. wrong on the naked or machete, but see if you can find a, that. It was a machete. What was he wearing? Doesn't say what he's he, wearing. He might, he, might have have added, have, he might have came out and said. I might have added naked on on my and my. Own I mean, mind. they broke into his house. At Maybe night, sexualized so it's very black men. No, there were black men who broke in. It was very sexual. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was very sexual. Wait, this the was a honky who had a machete. No, no, it's it's another African American. American oh, okay, man. he was an incredible was NFL safety. Yeah, I mean, it's literally the and last black man broke into his house. He said, "Get the hell out!" I'm not going to with guns, and he fought him off with a machete. But one of them shot him in the leg. Yeah, what? He died from. He got shot in the thigh, I think. Yeah, he got shot in the leg, but he tried to fight him off with a machete. He didn't die, did he? Yeah. John Taylor yeah, died from those two away. guys. Yeah. What? Yeah. Those I thought you were telling me a triumphal, like a. Triumphal no, story. but I'm just. It's one of those that like. It's so scary. Like if it was a movie, you'd be like. I hope those guys get out of there. Yeah. They broke into the scariest house of all time. Oh, <laughs> damn. Now, of got... course, they knew whose house it was. I would imagine, but true. Yeah. Me and Soder always j joked about it them like going in with flashlights and then seeing a bunch of like sean taylor all like jerseys in frames just like dude fuck no fucking way <laughs> then you're like you motherfuckers in my house like, oh fuck dude he's <laughs> got a machete like oh my god dude. He comes down a hallway to, with a 4 4 40 oh my god. You're like, holy shit <laughs> did they catch the guys yeah. Yeah, they went to jail. They went to just they they have justice. If justice, they're in jail in served, yeah. Florida, they are probably having a negative oh, time. Oh fuck. Because he was a hero down there. He was a Miami yeah. Hurricane. Sean I Taylor was the man. He died. They probably hit him with one of those like veins in your leg. Yeah. Fucked him up. Yeah, he died the next day after. Oh college. man, he died a day later from mm -hmm. a fucking leg injury? Yeah. But I think they broke in like the middle uh Oh yeah, that's exactly yeah. Yeah. The middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. he died probably. His daughter that was night. there. Oh, they didn't geez. get the daughter though. He fought Good. them off valiantly. That's what's up. Yeah, he's the fucking. He was. You watch his highlights. It's like, <laughs> oh, dude, imagine that guy. Fucking. He knows the house too. The lights are off. True. He's going in and out of rooms. You're just like, <sighs> you see him run by. You're like, oh shit. That's dude. literally my number one fantasy of like moving through the total darkness. And yeah. Just fucking, 
Yeah, you want to come into my hit him with a chop and then keep fucking hiding? Just something. Oh, <laughs> you saying stun one, hit him in the exact right spot. The one passed out. And they go, Dave, 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 get up, dude. Dave, don't leave me in here. Dave, ah, my pressure points all of them at once. Ah, I'm, ge- I'm getting your pressure. This is a Tai Chi master. We broke into a Tai Chi master's house. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's funny to break in and see the flat, like the flashlight on the wall. It's just black belts. Oh, like, oh fuck. Fuck this. It's a Tai Chi master. It's Tai Chi master. He's, fucking... He's going to know all of our points. We have to get out of here. It's Krav Maga. <laughs> God comes out dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the one? Yeah, what's the one where they, uh, there's a keto? Keto's nice and capoeira. Capoeira fighter comes out. Yeah. Indiana Jones, I'm just. <laughs> True. <laughs> what yeah. are you doing? Blast him. Yeah. That's a risky business, man. Breaking into houses? Yeah. Yeah. That's a bad life, being a burglar. I'm telling you, the best burgling book is, I think it's called the You Can't Win, the story of Jack Black. Not the actor, Jack Black, like the 1940s criminal, apparently. I, I, Macholi was one who gave it to me. Really? Dude, it's the funniest book about this guy trying to break into houses in the 40s, and like, <laughs> he documents his life, and it, it's He's unbelievable. He's just a bum? Yeah, just a complete, <laughs> like a real deal bum. Because all those dudes thought it was cool in like the 60s, like, be, like yeah. be bums and he was like the real deal yeah and those guys lives would usually like cold like culminate in them they would like shoot some guy by the train tracks i'm like i just wanted to relax and have a good time i didn't want to get into this yeah but they were like you get like deeper and deeper into crime it's pretty sick that's nice eventually he goes to jail like 50 times eventually he gets out and they like give him like a regular job and like he gets like a steady life yeah disappeared i think he drowned himself i think he just jumped in the river that's a good way pretty tight yeah. He just completely fucking disappeared. As soon as he got his life on track, he, they were like, all right. He was, yeah, it's not never fun anymore. Never to be seen again. Yeah, vaccine. I saw that. I was like, I this guy's legit. I just ran out of your mushroom pills. I need a new batch. Because I started doing the two, three to five a day. I get you. Yeah, <laughs> are you doing it every day? You're gobbling. I did it. I did it for two weeks. I did three to five. A you day. gobbled. Yeah. You got to take days off, dude. Oh, you do. They're gonna stop working at all. Oh, what do you do? You, you do the Fatiman protocol, dude. One day on, three days off. <laughs> I don't fucking or know. You... I'm talking about so upstairs doesn't activate. Your fucking hands off. <laughs> the upstairs doesn't activate until you get to like yes seventy two. And that or is true. Like that. And the upstairs neighbors, we control their heat. So they would text us and be if like, we hey, don't get to a can... certain number on there. Yeah. They can't turn their heat on. And... Yes. What? So once, yeah, it's a fucking hundred year old building. I know someone who had something like that. And then the Pico came out or whoever came out and was changed. Like, you it? don't got, no, they were like, you don't have to pay like your electric bill at all. What? Like, you're not I wonder if they that. didn't have to pay for heat. You probably don't. Well, they're not supposed to. When there was an Irish bitch in the basement, she, she started lumping all her shit together yeah. and I was getting a real high bill. And I'm like, I don't think you're splitting this up three ways. And it turns yeah. out that Dago was. He was getting in my ass yeah, with the that, money. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old man was fucking me yeah, over. Yeah, he probably saw a young Italian. He probably had to take yeah. a little bit off yep. the top yeah. of me. Yeah, like, you got to give him yeah. the yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, I, showed, I said, look, I set it to like 70. You can see it's on. It's not pumping, but it's on. Yeah. And then, we, and then we shook hands. <laughs> we stood right here, <laughs> shook hands. It said that the dispute is finished. Yeah, it was like if two bears actually shook paws. <laughs> you guys are like some like Dust Bowl Kentuckians. Like, <laughs> well, we had to sell this out. You're, you're on to something there. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Put this behind us. You know, I, he made a smart remark about it, but there is a, there is a, <laughs> there is somewhat of a joy of living with an adult at this age because you really do learn a lot about life and you learn patience in many ways. That you can then take it into your next relationship where you live with a woman. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully <laughs> with have a woman. A family. When you finally settle down with a woman. Yeah. No, because you'll just be like, dude, my that was nothing what I was dealing with my adult. No, compared to a woman? A hundred percent. You're just gonna be like that. I've lived with six women. Yeah, dude. It's it's not this rules. It's smoke and mirrors, dude. You uh, guys are having like a disagreement between, between men. You go, if you're doing like, oh, I'm going to move in and I'll, I'll take some of what I learned with like adult men and move it towards women. Doesn't apply. Does it? Mm. None of it applies, dude. Yeah. You're going to a, it's just it's fantasy. It's crazy how much it's more a fantasy realm, dude. I am with a man as opposed to a woman. How good? Like, I could just go, yo, it's my bad, dude. I was fucking, yeah. I was, mm. out of, I was out of my pocket last night. Yeah. There's like a law. It's all right. I, there's a law that states that like, not like a, it's more of like a, you know, like a law of the universe, like physics laws. Like if like, Six women plan something and do it. Two of them are going to like fucking freak out. 
Like they can't <laughs> Wait, plan. Is this yeah, they can't yeah, plan. Like they're like, we're going to Nashville. Yeah, they can't plan a trip for more than three like of seven them will people. be like, it's too expensive. <laughs> she knows I'm short on money. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, right. that bitch is doing this on purpose, dude. Yes. <laughs> she, like, who the fuck did she think she yeah, yeah. she had to wear those shoes she knows i wanted those Turn, <laughs> no i was watching the kanye <laughs> concert i was watching yeezy yeah and uh i was i got in an actual heated dispute with my woman because she was like kim's kim's more famous than him more or is like who? gonna be known in 10 in in more the future she's like in the future people will remember her more than kanye stay out of it no <laughs> And I said, and she she compared her to like Marilyn Monroe. She's like this generation's Ew, sex symbol. That's terrible. And it's it's a detriment to society. Dude, my gym is filled. <laughs> well, you're telling me she has more I don't influence mean on women than Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner is a sex symbol. True. That's a beacon for women. <laughs> oh. Conservative, oh, family oriented. Yes. True. Yes. True. She stays in her lane. Well, She's unless it's at a crossing. The yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a minor blip. Dude. Dude, I mean, dude, they took they, saying, Hold on. They stripped Caitlin of T, and obviously the driving capabilities <laughs> fucking slip. <laughs> but 80, I'll say 85 to 90% of every woman that in that gym that I go to mm -hmm. only waits around these three machines just to work ass. And then they do squats and they do like air squat. Like it's all about the ass. Mm -hmm. They don't do any. Yeah, they do the thrusters. There's no upper body. There's no cardio elements. And they wear like fucking makeup. Their mm -hmm. hair's done. They're just little piglets in train. True, true. Mm. <clears throat> and it's because of her. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it of her, dude. <clears throat> what do you say when you see these piglets fucking? Exactly that. <laughs> fucking pig. Yeah. Dude. Tom hits <laughs> playing racquetball. Look at this. Didn't these little sluts do cardio anymore. <laughs> I'm, just playing, I'm playing pickleball with like a 50 year old. Look these fucking pigs. Trying to make a sex tape with Ray J, just working on their fucking. That's ass. what bothered me the most of how she gained her fame. What she's done to become famous, I don't like it. Her dad freed OJ. That was generous. That was that was slam dunk. Right, one. So OJ is more famous than her. One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. OJ no by getting, a mile. No one's getting OJ. OJ went. His stock went down big time since Dude, that whole. Jesus. You know, since he unfortunately Michael Jackson of killing his wife. OJ. I'm sorry. I'm being critical of. Of I mean, you, no, there's uh, something of, of Kanye's queen. There's so, true. The only there, reason I don't want to disrespect her is because Ye loves her. That's true. There is something. She's to the queen of Staten Island now. True, she is the queen of Staten Island. Look at you. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, guys. Anyone Forgot want a sandwich? Here. It's time we start referring to like white dudes as kings, too. Yeah. I agree. White oh. kings and queens. What, exactly. Yeah, white, yeah, white kings. And queens. I was doing that on stage for a while. I was like, we need to start protecting our white queens. Yeah. <laughs> and people would get so angry. I was doing it at the salary. I'm like, new joke night. I'd be like, all right, here's something I'm working on. We need to protect Pissing everybody yeah. off. I'd be like, we need to protect our white queens. You could audibly hear people like, mm mm. Yo, how, the homeless scream, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Matt sent me this video. Matt sent me a video. I was on a plane. Yes, yeah. dude, I was howling laughing. Dude, it was it, so funny. Spencer, Go ahead, dude, shout out Spencer, dude. Spent me, sent me that video. Dude, that had the same effect. I was in my car. <laughs> it was just a fucking. It was a video of a homeless guy screams in I don't know what country it is. It was it like like Holland. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like Belgium. Some like it was, one of those. Yeah, I think I seen one of those laughable fucking countries you hear about, like Holland. Yeah. And you're like, and like yeah. I'm the Royal Duchess of Holland. You're like. Yeah, suck our dicks. <laughs> Holland. Who fucking cares? Yeah. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> fucking Keebler yeah. Elf country, shut so they're, the fuck they're up. Having, they're having the queen, like, march out. So there's a huge crowd in this giant square. And it's a thousands? moment. Thousands, yeah. yes, thousands of people. Thousands of people. There's a moment of silence type thing while the queen's, like, walking out. There's a homeless guy that just goes, ah! <laughs> and then it, you don't even see him, you just hear it. <laughs> of course, all the dog brains hear a scream, and all the women start screaming. No, and, then, and it starts a stampede. Dude. Sixty-five people got hurt. Think, think of that the rules. think of the power he felt. Yeah, like oh, it, like, yeah. like you, think you he's said, been training for this moment, waiting for like, this day, just seeing <laughs> a queen walk out. And you're a bum, and you're just like, <laughs> and the whole place explodes. <laughs> like dudes were drawing weapons. So <laughs> they were preserving their Dutch queens, dude. Hold on, I got it.
Sean, could you do me a kindness? Could you fix me up a nice meat and cheese cracker? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Luck of the draw. I'd like to see what you come up with here. <laughs> okay. It will be critiqued. Yeah, split your dungarees. <laughs> dude, you're gonna make a goat, though, dude. You're gonna throw it all away to the MGDs. <laughs> you try to touch the signs. Yeah. I have a good video. You have the video. Please house. include that in the intro. Dude. Yeah, we'll make a nice intro. Of <laughs> what, what was it? Ramirez got a, big up, big a up. parking sign right by Stress Factory. <laughs> you get it? No, Ramirez got bunnies. Ramirez had such a big fucking bunny. like. It looked athletic. The build up to him jumping, <laughs> like he took like a side step and looked like he was about to jump high. <laughs> <laughs> it is great. During the build up, I was like, damn, maybe Lamar is that. Like, <laughs> like he's been saying for fucking 10 years. Oh. Well, how high did he get? How high do you think off the ground? <laughs> yeah, he couldn't have cleared an MGD, dude. <laughs> he could not clear one MGD. <laughs> Let's get, get to the heart of that. Yeah, dude. So, Gabe Davis, he's a wide receiver for the Buffalo mm-hmm. Bills. Absolute legend. The night before, Lemaire started challenging me to drinking contests. <laughs> no Lemaire's got the gullet on him. Lemaire's got yeah. Lemaire can slurp, dude. Whoa. I mean, drinking until, car until, bombs. Until we got to Bud Lights, and then it was yeah, true. It was a wrap. You brought him into deep water. I took it. Yeah, I took him into deep water. <laughs> he was nice on the car bombs, though. <laughs> we had like five car bombs <laughs> in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You might. This is where this whole thing gets incredibly funny. Is just Lemaire. Lemare around NFL players, he was treating him like he was like a child. Yeah, he's he, dude. He's like thirty two. Yeah, with like he's ten years older than these players. <laughs> he's ten years older, and he's three feet shorter than all of them. And he's they got him a Bills hoodie. That they gave him a three X. It was down to his knees, <laughs> oh, dude. He had his hands in his sleeves the whole time. He's like. He's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lemare is for real autistic, <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. For it was, sure, uh, he was saying there's, some there's, outrageous they're, stuff. They're right, fuck, dude. <laughs> outrageous. Their right guard that plays with Bills is a monster. Mm-hmm. He was the black dude in the chains. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah, have, yeah. In like a cool yeah. shirt, Lemare stands in front. He's talking to one of the uh, one of us. Yeah, one, one of the of, family. Or, one of, was this after he's the talking game? to maybe his family? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Lemare yeah. stands <laughs> next to them. He's mid conversation. It just goes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen dude, I've never was seen his hand still in the hoodie. I've never was his seen his hand still in the hoodie. He took it out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I've never seen someone hold a pound longer. An unannounced an unanswered pound, dude. He just <laughs> finally, finally this dude not looking at him goes <laughs> and keeps talking. And Lamar goes, <laughs> so then we're hanging out after dude, he kept doing this the rest of the night he was just drilling people with autism the bills got an onslaught of autism from sass and lamar dude it was incredible i've never seen anything like it, oh my God. it was dude, so we get, we're, we're hanging out after gabe oh. takes us through the facilities while we're walking through the facilities Lemare's walking, just Lemare and Gabe Davis are walking, and Lemare's like, How does it feel to reach your dreams of being an NFL player? And Gabe Davis is like, What the fuck? Who is this guy? Oh, fuck. No, this is the beginning. Dude. No. This is nothing. No. This is nothing compared to what's about to happen. Oh, my God. Lemare is sitting, it's a long table. So Lemare and this one wide out, I forget who it was, sitting next, sitting a chair apart, but no one else is around them. We're across the table. I hear Lemare look over at him and go, other than us being black, what do you think you and I have in common? <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, and the dude was for real like, yo, who is this? <laughs> like, he for was, real, whose man is this? Yeah. Like, like, he wasn't having it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and Lemare was like, what? It's a good question. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> the guy's oh like God. sitting with his family. Oh my god! So we're laughing about that. We're laughing about it. Lemare again doesn't take the hint that maybe he should stop doing this to people. Oh my god! Five minutes later, out of no- again, this guy's not talking to him. No, and not he's at all. He's just asking quite like he's sitting eating and then being like, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "What? What do you search on YouTube?" <laughs> he goes, "What do you search he on YouTube?" That. <laughs> this, this is an NFL wide receiver. No, oh, fuck. I mean, he hasn't confronted this level of nerd in like decades, dude. Oh. Never blacked out twice. Lemare's a, a horse, dude. He 
dominate. He's fast. He's nimble. <laughs> he, is he, nimble. Asked, he is nimble. He asked all the right questions. He asked, yeah, it, it was, was unlimited sick. Dave and Buster's yeah. charge card, oh. babes, and the Buffalo Bills. Oh my God. It was about as cool as it gets. No, if really. I hadn't monched too hard, yeah. that would have been a great night. It's Yeah, true. But I did monge. You did. And I was like, I can't. You got <laughs> I, was like, I was like laying down in a booth. <laughs> yeah. They're just yeah. ladies dancing. I was like, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> I'm watching LeMaire and Sass play games. At one point, at one point, all the cool black players were playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Just saying, that's what they're doing. They're playing the the you know the, the basketball game, competitive game. basketball. Game, but right. they were surrounded by like girls, and the <laughs> the speaker was right there, and rap was blasting. And I look over, and <laughs> the the right tackle is Spencer. He's like six nine. He's huge. He's by himself playing like a Dutch <laughs> game. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> These boys hog heaven. You get Lemare and Sass some video game dude. Oh my god. Lemare, Lemare at one point announced to me, he said, I'm the king of the games. <laughs> <laughs> sort of dominated was, NFL players in video was games. He's, dude, and he has he's like a little kid. He's walking, there's this D tackle playing fucking guitar hero. Lemare's like, Do you mind if I play with you? <laughs> and the guy's like, Yeah, sure, man, whatever. I have a photo of it. That'll be posted right now. Is Lemare on the mushrooms too? Yeah. I think a little bit. Of. It was very tough. My shoes were heavy. Though, did you so stretch you know. it before? <laughs> Why did he do that? That was 2013. You were allowed to go wild. Yeah, I guess so. 2013, but... you were allowed to say pull up. That was literally what he said. Yeah. Don someone, Lemon went on CNN. Someone probably like, called him like a gay ass bull. Five, oh, he somebody called him a gay ass bull. bullied the fuck out of Don Lemon. <laughs> he, you didn't see this? He was, yeah. on, he was on your... He said pull up your pants. He was on the Chris News Network. <laughs> <laughs> he was on CNN. Yeah. And he literally was like, five things black people need to do. One, pull up your fucking pants. <laughs> like, it was crazy. Oh. Stop fucking littering. <laughs> that was like number two. So he did that? Yeah. 2013. Yeah. That was probably right around when he was getting accused of sexually assaulting uh, that waiter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. You didn't know Don, dude. These Don are your guys. Lemon. It was Don I Lemon, dude. Don, Don Lemon. I don't think I've watched a minute of <laughs> Don, Don Lemon. Don Lemon <laughs> got in there, wiped his nuts on a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. He goes, "I'll have a hot dog." Actually, like, <laughs> I'm in the mood for a hot dog now. <laughs> Grab the beans, bro. <laughs> the Frank waiter came over. Was like, yeah. He was like, here's today's orders. He was like. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go with the fucking hot dog, dude. <laughs> That's so funny. How have I never heard that? That's so funny. Did you just come up with that? That's great. Grabbing a guy's so, dick and be like, let me get that hot dog. I didn't know, I didn't know it was a waiter. He I'm going to do, that, I'm gonna do that for the rest of my life. I love grabbing dicks. It's so funny. Walking by someone, give them a little... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. Start like, Yo, what are you hungry for, man? I don't know. What I'll tell you get. what I'm hungry for. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a hot dog in a while. Let me see that. <laughs> oh, dude, you get a cocktail weenie, dude. Fucking a little cocktail weenie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Come up with plans to grab your friend's dicks is awesome, yeah. dude. Yeah. Think about a dude going and grabbing dicks in the hood, dude. That's the most dangerous game. I think about it every time we bring this up. I think about when I did that to Courtney and he socked me in the dick as hard as he could, dude. No hesitation. I went, Courtney, you see where the horse spinner? He went, <laughs> just punched me in the dick. Dude. Yeah, you can't grab the, 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 the fellas. Why is that? Because Dilbert's right. <laughs> just get away from these guys. <laughs> grab even, like, dicks. Around. Look, grab their dicks and run, dude. Grab their dicks and run as <laughs> fast as you away. can. <laughs> you you try to grab, to grab a black guy's dick. You, you said, punched. "Why can't I go grab dicks in the hood, dude? You yeah. curious crazy? Of course you can, dude. If you went in the hood and just like grabbing dicks, aren't safe. Dude, you would die. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Not safe. <laughs> what do you say? The neighborhoods aren't safe. Dude, you walk in the yeah. hood, you're like, yeah, I'm opening up like a cupcake shop. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the shit out of you, dude. You crazy? Yeah, I was thinking I'd uh, open up a hot dog cart around here. <laughs> <laughs> when you grab it, yeah. If it's there, you gotta go a little hall. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a real cool bubble coat. Let me zip that down. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you would get killed. You would get killed, dude. <laughs> I mean, if you hit, yeah, most white dudes, our age, white dudes would laugh. A lot of them, but you, you, you head into the Elks. You head into the Elks, start opening a hot dog stand. Those boys would try to fight you. 
Hey. <laughs> guy tried to grab my stuff. <laughs> Fucking queer. <laughs> you fucking queer. <laughs> Dude, imagine there's still beer foam on their lips and you fucking go for oh. a hot dog. They gotta be like, Steelers, Steelers Ravens on. <laughs> it's fucking 1 30 on a Sunday. Just <laughs> <laughs> you go in there and yank every chain and run out. Uh, Can you escape? You can pull some bells. <laughs> punch back in Notre Dame some bells, dude. <laughs> I'd rather VFW. I'd rather VFW yank. Just a bullet. Oh, yeah, but dude, they would form up and like two of them would block the door. Yeah. You'd have two dudes in Baltimore Raven. Call the police. <laughs> call the police. It's a goddamn queer in here. <laughs> he yanked me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, old white dudes would spaz just as hard as black oh, dudes. Yeah. They would use all their powers Big to try time. to stop you. You need some principles. I need. I'll I'm tell you desperate. Why. I'm desperate for principles. You know what a nice principle is? Admitting when you're wrong. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Cut that. Cut that out. Join the Patreon. Oh. Boys up! I made weed ice cream recently. Really? I made weed ice cream and um, I ate it and I watched Love on the Spectrum, and I was convinced. Bro. I was convinced I was autistic. I was watching that show <laughs> high and I was just like, <laughs> I was like, sitting I there was, like, what do you do if she doesn't like dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. I it. was convinced, dude. I was like, I'm de- I definitely have this. And was fully like, damn, dude. I look like if an Aust- Australian is retarded, they just look like me. <laughs> Somebody was like, how can you tell if someone's retarded if they have an Australian accent? Yeah. Because they all sound retarded. They're like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and uh, I was like, well, the, the the regular Australians are just like tan, hot people. Yeah. And then if you're retarded, you just look exactly like me. If you don't look like a model, it's no, just, <laughs> it's no either, delineation. Dude, pale, frumpy <laughs> motherfuckers that stayed inside. No, that, that uh, yeah, everybody's going to be talking about this show. It's literally a show designed for... Yeah, I feel like it's, it's a weird, trap. It's weird, dude. It is weird. It's a trap, dude. I'm, I was watching, and I'm like, I have pretty loose morals, and I was like, I don't know if you if you should yeah. be doing this, man. This is also like... teaming them up, making them date each other. It's like, dude, give. That's why we have fucking weird sex perverts. Just get one dude that's weird enough to fuck like a retarded mm-hmm. lady, and let her take let him take care of. Her. True, you think they can't link doing... them both up and then be like, all right, you two figure it out, yeah. get a house. Well, they'll, 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 like, how much have you watched of it? Have you watched a couple episodes? I watched two. Yeah, so they'll go on the dates and be like, hey, do you guys need a break? Yeah. It's kind of like, I mean, dude, the dates are anxiety provoking. We're there, and they're, when they're sitting there, they and they're asking each other about like, the shows and stuff, and they just both freeze up. They both freeze up. Yeah. And so, dude, that must be intense levels of anxiety. You're so taking you, a I'm person sorry. with autism and putting them on camera. Yeah. It's like that can't be like relaxing. So if you haven't seen it, it's called Love on the Spectrum, and it's, uh, but it's just a show, a documentary following autistic australians and but yeah that that is i it is kind of weird man the fact that like you know if they're right now saying like you shouldn't clap because it could set off someone who's autistic in like a public gathering it's like oh but if you want to like put them on camera and film them Bro. awkwardly trying to date it's pretty fucking nuts yeah dude. how about the one at the the costume party oh the, and the then Comic-Con? they just put them outside i only saw the one where he goes to comic-con and ditches his date for uh for the lady there's from Gilligan's one island there's one that's a girl and then she went and sat outside with this dude, and they just they were like, "Oh, they, this one autistic girl was dancing," and then another dude came up and started dancing with her, and they were like, "And they talk about it. It's like a fucking nature show." They're like, "Oh, she may have found a mate out there," <laughs> and then they put him outside and made him talk, and the kid couldn't talk, yeah, because there's a camera in his face. He's on a date, and he didn't know he was doing it. I don't. Th- well, I'm sure he did, but yeah. he didn't. You know, his autism kicked in hard, and he couldn't. She was like. I'll, I'll lead it. Do you like cats or dogs? And he's like, Oh, I saw that. And when she was at- like, I have a cat. He's like, Do you have a cat? And he's like, Yes. Yeah. I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Holy shit. Dude. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. For and that then dude. it's like, That guy, I don't know if he got paid. And now his family just has to be like, Holy fuck, dude. He was, we just sent him to the dance. He ended up on Netflix. Yeah, like having like a slight nervous breakdown. Yeah, being on TV, just like, I have a cat named Gertrude. 
<laughs> yeah, man. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, it man. was that was probably one of the most uncomfortable parts so far. He like he mean. freaks out. He just goes like, "Oh yeah." Oh, then, yeah that's <laughs> the best part. She's like, "Should we go inside then?" He's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I can't I don't know how Netflix is getting away with this right now. Dude, that would be sick though if they got some sort of like first family situation going on, like the like London royalty. What do you mean? Just if they establish like if, if an somebody artistic kingdom, yeah, like a if, if somebody like, like links up and produces an offspring from the show, they probably that's like that's like monarchy level. True, that is. If like, that one dude finds a bay on the show, basically he's already practicing. It's like, and she will be my queen. <laughs> yeah, dude. God damn that show. That's yeah. I was I was I was binging some Netflix. That's gonna be a one season done. They're gonna do that. No, that's then, a fucking hit. Dude. You think it's gonna be like a Seinfeld? That might be a Seinfeld, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to end with one of them. Nah, never mind. <laughs> be a bit of a, you know, there could be a shooting or something. <laughs> that would be fucked up, man. No, it's it's they're just peace lovers, dude. It's also weird to see a couple of them that are, you know, because, of course, it is a spectrum. So some, oh, of, them, dude. some of them don't have it that bad. Don't get kinda, me started on that one guy. I'm, I got that one guy in my scope right now. That one dude that's a real, dude, he's real like, Casanova. I love your body. No, the yeah. one guy who's like, I love your body. I'm like, one of you, I think I think the dude's kind of faking it. I think bit. he's faking it for those tits. Yeah, I think he's faking for those sure. Those tits tits. I was, I, was watch, I was watching it, and I was just kind of like, yeah, this dude doesn't have this. My, you know, people have Gator. I have an all. Aust- my All Star is pretty good. Mine went off the hook when fucking Hannah Gadsby claimed it. She, yeah, dude, she claimed it, and I was like, "Come on." Is now. there an autistic revolution in Australia right now? There must be. You must get decent. I mean, you're getting shows. You must get some clout for autism in Australia. Yeah, I mean, autism's hot right now in <laughs> Australia. It's so in. They have to change the name to Australia. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> but yeah. Well, the other thing too anyway. is like, dude, from a legal, from a legal perspective, it's like, how does that work contract wise? Are you able? I mean, it's like, does it? Do they understand like the point? Like, you want to be on TV? They're like, yeah. They're like, do yes. you understand? Yes. Do you understand what's going to happen? Yes. I mean, I guess anyone takes that risk. You on TV, someone might clown you. But True. it's like. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a honeypot. I think this whole thing's a honeypot to catch alt-right podcasters and be like, oh, they made fun of Love on the Spectrum. Take them down. It is this show that's it's designed to be. It's a trap, dude. It's a trap, dude. Because it is such a nice, sweet show that making fun of it is bad. It is so funny. When you watch it, it is so funny. Also, when they show these people, do they have to play that music? You know that like f- almost like comical, like stringy, like. I don't know. Next time you watch it, listen to the music. Like a string play. band time, kind of thing? Anytime they like show an autistic dude like walking around, it's like, blum, blum, blum. <laughs> like this music while this guy's just going about his day. It's like, come on, man. So you, you didn't get to the episode, episode of the uh, Chinese dude yet, did you? I've seen him <laughs> kicking around. Don't you dare put that on me, boy. He's great, dude. He, he, was, he does realize. I saw him fixing his hair. They gave him the, they gave him like the dating lessons, dude. It's uh-huh. so fucking funny, man. And he has a slight accent. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh yeah, for sure. So he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, this is a trap, dude. This is a beer trap. They dude. fucking seized my mind, and I, I it was just like limitless. I'm like, oh my god, and I was like, <laughs> I'm not falling for this. They're like, what's the funniest thing imaginable? I don't know. Probably like a autistic Asian dude in Australia dating <laughs> show. <laughs> Do you want to go inside, Dan? Yes. Yeah, that was that was rough, man. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one was like I I kind of felt bad because it was like, yeah. damn, he's sticking a camera in this dude's face and he can't talk and they're like asking him to do like cats or dogs more and he's he's like I can't even I dude, can't. That, that should be I like this was, is like early UFC, you know, before like you yeah. can get like kneed in the head for like ten minutes and they finally break it up. <laughs> they got to learn how to throw in the towel quicker on these things. Yeah, that one lady had. Oh, they almost the two of them almost had a heart attack when they were both on that date in like a fancy place. Yeah, they were. I liked like that girl. That dude, was a good date. That I was, was. Yeah, I was hoping they would link. Especially up. off the the SpongeBob intro they had on the speed dating. Oh, dude! I nice. saw her eyeing him up when he yeah. was when he was doing his SpongeBob impression, and she was like, "Who the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> she was on a different date. Heard a dude down the table doing a SpongeBob. It was like. <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was definitely being like, yo, who the fuck is that? Who is that star? <laughs> they also don't like each other. Any, every time they all go to date each other, they're like, Man, I think we're just friends. They yeah. don't really like each other at all. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. 
Except that one, dude. The dude who drives a bus, is he the one that loves her tits? Yeah. He's yeah. driving buses? Come on now. I mean, dude, <laughs> he's kind of a fa- – that guy's kind of fraud. I'm not going to lie. That guy's kind of fraud. I didn't want to say it, but it's like I watched that, and I was like, I think this dude's fucking, think he's fraudulent? I think he's in autism for the wrong reasons. <laughs> think I think he's just trying to get ahead. <laughs> you don't think it's for the love of the game? Nah. <laughs> I don't think so at all. Yeah. I think he's just seeking fame through Tism, dude, like all the other Australians right now. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? No, that was that was a good show. I'm gonna watch the whole thing. I, I am I'm rooting I like for it, man. Yeah. I hope they all I hope that show works out and arcs in a way where like, you know, it's good for everybody. Especially when you see like the the parents, man. It's like just yeah. to, just to ha- just like come to grips with that and just be like, Fuck, what are we doing right now? And then it's just like I got I gotta talk about SpongeBob for twenty five years. Uh. But dude, it's like <laughs> It's like living with a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's – my favorite part was when – I think his my, <laughs> my his name's Michael, right, the main kid. He, like, responds to his mother like he's, like – he literally sounded like a general in the Revolutionary War. She's like, well, what if you don't find someone you want to date? And he's like, I will not accept that as an answer. <laughs> I was like, yes, dude. Get pussy. <laughs> it's, it is sick how they'll, they'll like really do it. And again, I, this is why I think I have a little bit of autism. They'll, like, pick a thing, and that's just it. That guy picked a character yeah. that's, like, a Revolutionary War general type. The other guy's a dinosaur expert. That dude's a fucking pimp, dude. Wait, wait which one's the dinosaur expert? He took the uh, the one girl out and was like, uh, that might have been the third episode. I don't think he saw it. He's a paleontologist. He goes on a date with, like, the tall chick. I, I can't. I, uh, I think I might have missed I think it. Might, I think I'm too Phil, Phil fucking bullied me off the Netflix on that. He didn't want to watch it? I was kind of, like, half watching it. And then he was like, what the hell are you watching? Because he just saw, like, a date. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, dude. Put the golf on. Yeah, yeah, he's from New Jersey. He's like, now let me tell you something. Uh, man. Uh, it's pretty nuts. I hate it. I, I, I listen I'm to it. I'm glad the boss just got a DUI. The boss got a DUI? Oh, come on, man. What happened to him? He was being a renegade. They got him. True. How fucking shitty do you have to be to give the boss a ticket like that? Yeah. How blacked out do you think he was? He probably got done. He's like, I just got done doing a podcast with Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> okay, like, you're blacked out. Yeah, right, <laughs> Barack, Mr. Mr. President. They both had anyway. Irish parents, though. They were both, shout out to Ireland. That's probably why I was like, well, this is all right. Because they were oh, like, yeah. Yeah, he's like, my grandparents were Irish, and, you know, they were a bit of outsiders. I was like, yeah, so I'm an outsider. I'm a renegade. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm a renegade, too. That's cool. What else you got to say, Bruce? Well, you and me are renegades. Big time, dude. Big time. That's probably what it was. It was my shadow just being like, dude, you're a fucking renegade. Dude. But it was it was funny. He, and Barack Obama was like, yeah, my, uh, my grandparents were I- Scotch-Irish as well. I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Oh, that was when my national. That? That's when you're my nationalism that? fucking crushed my hatred of just yeah. popular calls. Like, they took out the factories. That's why me and Bruce are outsiders, dude. That's why I had to work at those shitty jobs, dude. They destroyed the factories. I was just a boy. Dude, there was one boy. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> He's like, you were in the White House and playing some songs. We're singing along. It's Motown. But every time, any chance he gets, he goes, Bruce Springsteen goes, yeah, I was playing some of that Motown. <laughs> oh, no. It's yeah. fun to think about. Bruce was saying, he was like, if you went to those clubs down south, Route 9, I love Route 9. I love all the roads in New Jersey. He loves New Jersey. The great town of whatever the fuck, wherever he's from. Trenton. Oh, it was what the fuck? from Trenton. Please look up Bruce Springsteen's. Actually, Gardini, do you know it offhand? I feel like you should. Yeah, you're from New Jersey. Pretty sure it's Sayreville or Freehold. Freehold, that's what it was. Never heard of either of those Check. crap towns. I'm from the great town of Freehold, population 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> right. I believe I know that. You are Brock, then. I'm definitely Bruce. No, no I mean, I didn't want to say it, but yeah. Very spring scene. No, true. So I'm, I'm in the U Haul. I got the case of beards. Take me back to the fucking days where I was a beer delivery man. Mm. Where I was a delivery man. <laughs> so I'm driving. Dude, I forgot I used to. Dude, so I would drive the beard uh, delivery van. I passed the uh, art museum. Dude, I forgot what a secret fucking Bruce I was. I'm, I have like secret Bruce Springsteen vibes that I, I used to do this all the time. Like when I, I drove the beer van one time, like I was cutting through the art museum and I remember being in college, going into the art museum to deliver beer and all my classmates were in this like art class 
looking at like paintings. I, I would like, I remember it took such a perverse pleasure and like going through and being like, yeah, I'm just over here trying to make it ends meet. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Oh yeah. I'm at my job right now. Yeah. I used to love that, dude. I know that, dude. I used to fucking of love. Of course, you love that, dude. I didn't realize how like seriously I like I, dude. Yes, I remember it's like I, your favorite thing. I saw a girl there and it's was like, easily oh. your favorite thing, dude. I'm I just st- a humble worker. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was handed to me. I, yeah. <laughs> of I remember seeing a girl and just being totally delighted to. Like, she's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I gotta get this beer down to the center." Oh, just delivering things. Delivering this beer. What are you guys looking at? Oh so, man, don't, I don't, don't understand this stuff. Don't take you. Don't take this for granted, honey. You gotta hey. learn. Hey. Hey guys, stay in school, honey. <laughs> These so, Koreans gonna beat the shit out of me, honey. These goddamn Koreans on my dick. Better not shut. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, dude, then one time I was coming home from work. I was in like one of those full, like head to toe jumpsuits. I was I was coming home in one of those like snowman suits, and uh, I was covered in just soot. And I saw some comedians at one time, and I took a break from comedy. Like, oh, what's up, Matt? And I was like, hey, guys, uh, I wish I could be doing a comedy with you guys, but, you know. <laughs> Gotta make ends meet. I feel like waking up in the middle of the night, and it's like so many thoughts in my head. <sighs> yeah. Just Bruce and You, you are Bruce. You're secret Bruce. I love Bruce and dude. I'm surprised you didn't. Did you park the car to show them you were in the jumpsuit while they were No, dude. I, I just happened upon them. Although, I, dude, I wouldn't put that past myself. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. shit. Those, hey, guys. Oh. How's comedy going? It must be nice to have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the other side of town working for my dad. Yeah, dude, I was just I was laughing in the car, I'm like, dude, I said Bruce so hard. <laughs> Sorry, guys, gotta go to work. You love uh, the Bruce. Dude. I work for electrician twice a week. It is a nice feeling. Bruce and on someone is nice. Dude, Bruce and fucking Bruce is nice. Being that like, was dude. Yeah, art museum with a dolly like a jack of man. <laughs> hey, little girl. Yeah, I'd love to have sex with that girl, but I'm fucking working the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me talking to myself for an hour in a big van. That's pretty funny. Pretty fun. Yay, hey, little girls, Christmas time. See if you can hunt Ooh. that. It's right there. Get that boy. <laughs> this is big for podcasting right now. I can get it. Oh, oh, you got it. Ah! You got- uh, bro, I got trick or treating. I uh I told you about my Big Mac pumpkin. Yes. This thing's the talk of the town, dude. It's still going. It's still the talk of the that town. That thing's gonna be a motherfucker to get rid of. I'm gonna dude. I'm gonna hack it up. <laughs> I'm gonna hack it up on trash day and put it in a bag. I'm putting in like two bags. Dude, yeah. you know how big the pumpkin is? Probably like 112 pounds. It weighs as much as a keg. Nice. When I left Whole Foods, the guys where I got it from, the dude was like, I haven't seen anyone carry these. And I was just like, oh, I'm gonna carry this fuck, like an dude. Atlas stone oh, out to my liter- fucking dude, car. Just literally put it back. That's two exciting. Kids have tried fucking with it multiple times. It's too big. Dude, they well now they've so they can't lift it, so now they try to roll it off of my thing. Dude, I caught kids fucking with it the other day and I hey. I spazzed. What'd you scream? I like, get the fuck away from my house. I I was mean. I was a little bit mean. <laughs> I came out because they I felt I like was standing there, I saw a bunch of kids walk by. And I'm like, because my pumpkin got rolled already. So I'm sitting there, my antenna's up. I'm going, you motherfuckers better not touch dude, my pumpkin. So you're Mac sitting pumpkin. in your house. I'm chilling, dude. My and kitchen one of the table's things is- in your mind is, I get that pumpkin's in danger. She's a Big Mac pumpkin, dude. I know what I mean, but Google, I'm saying, Google this thing. I love thinking of you in your house. Oh, yeah. You got shit. There's kids. Yes. There's wives. Yeah, people are fighting you. Dude, I was holding. Kids are screaming, but it's still in the back of your mind. Holding you have Chloe. the wherewithal. Yes. To be like, I, I know that Big Mac pumpkin's a target. Yeah, I was in a I bad... I gotta fucking secure the package. I was in a bad mood. I remember... All I remember, I'm in a bad mood. I'm holding my fucking baby. I'm sitting there, I'm like this, just, and all of a sudden, I, I I just hear chatter walk by, and I go... All right, last time I came back, my Big Mac pumpkin got rolled to the bottom of the street. I wasn't too happy. Or rolled <laughs> off my sidewalk, so I'm like... But it's too, it's too sturdy. And though. someone stole my sign, my boo sign. I had a ghost that said boo, and someone stole that. I'm, so, you know, that Brittany took that pretty hard. I mean, this is trick-or-treat, though. <laughs> It's this. You're dude. getting pranked by the local kids. I am. So I'm sitting there and I hear the kids walk by and I just do that literally instinct. I go, hold up, but they're going to fuck with that pumpkin. Yeah. I, I'm waiting right by the door and I hear, we get like, um, we have like a, a metal handrail. Like you can hear it, like people hitting it. I hear the hand. That's my alarm. The handrail yeah. gets hit, crack the door open. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? They already, they started bolting. They had rolled it off the sidewalk. Those fucks. Motherfuckers rolled it. I'm going to cover it with fucking uh, with Vaseline. I told Brittany, I'm covering it with Vaseline and putting cayenne pepper on it. So someone rolls it, they're going to get on their hands and fucking yes. burned up. Well, I came out and like, so I come out and they're all standing you there. You can't leave a target like that for kids. A Big dude. Mac pumpkin? Can you imagine? What would you do? I would have destroyed it. You would have stuck fucking, a foot through that thing. I would have destroyed that thing. You would have stomped thing. that thing. True. And that's when I walked it back. But I came out. I'm on. I'm just like, I'm on edge you already. You and all fucking 10 of your brothers and cousins. Oh, dude. What was that sleep medication that hit and people started like losing Ambient? Ambient. Yeah. That's cool. When you're just yeah. kind of like, yep. 
Yes, you doctor. Uh huh. And then you fucking speed your car into like a gas station, <laughs> and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> there is- I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a hit out on that pumpkin. I got no. a hit on the pumpkin. My Big Mac. I'm gonna have a hit on the Big Mac pumpkin, dude. I was so mean. I said, I can- Bitch, I ain't never had no damn pumpkin pie. <laughs> I ain't never had no pumpkin pie. <laughs> I came outside. I was like, "Don't touch my fucking shit." <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Don't touch my shit. Was it out of the door, like halfway through the door? I walked out into the street. Like, You're an old man now. What the fuck was that? You're an old man. But I could have been like, let me see one of you pussies lift this up. That would have been fun. Yeah. Like, let me see you. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can lift the Big Mac. Yeah, if you lift it up, you can smash it. You guys can fucking smash it. How many pies do you think you can make out of that Big Mac? Bro, we can feed this whole This whole room can have a personal pie. No problem. Shit, let me go. I haven't had any pumpkin pie this year. I have not not yet, right? I have not either. You don't eat pumpkin pie until Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm going to say that this year at Thanksgiving. I'm going to go. I wouldn't say, stop. Shane, did you get dessert? I said, Mom, I ain't never had no damn pumpkin pie. <laughs> I ain't never had no pumpkin pie. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to fuck you up, dude. How many pumpkins can make a... How many pies? I'm about to show pumpkin? you a Big Mac pumpkin. Bro, this is kind of gourd I'm fucking with right now. Big old pumpkin. That's this is out gourd. of control, man. That's the kind of gourd I got. I've, I got a pretty big one, too. I think it's even bigger than that. It's, Dude, I'm not lying. It almost goes up to like the middle level of that chair you're sitting in. Bro, it's a big mad pumpkin, dude. It's crazy. Bitch, you ain't never had no bad. This is exciting. I love the attention. I was talking to the town, dude. Shane, I was talking Matt, to the fucking town. Brittany was getting you texts. You could never, dude. Huh? You could never get a pumpkin like this. I have it outside my house. Matt, you don't have a big pumpkin like that. <laughs> Bro, my That's too big, that. dude. You don't my, have that. My damn pumpkin that's is a that 350 big. pound pumpkin pie. Right. Is that, oh, that's, a, that's a Big Mac's pumpkin from Nana's Bloomers. Is it a Big Mac's pumpkin or a Big Mac pumpkin? I should call my lady and say, babe, take a picture of that Big Mac pumpkin. Yeah. Hey, can I get a picture of that Big Mac pumpkin outside of our house? Shane doesn't believe me how big this thing is. Try them today and see how you feel. <laughs> you are nuts. We're going to hand jello shots oh. out to the parents. Her idea. Good idea. That'll be fun. I told her, I'm like, we have to. I'll get bl- I'll black out if you don't hand these out. I, I have no throttle with jello shots dude tonight oh yeah. you're giving jello shots to the parents while the they're parents, out there yeah to the parents fuck i hope you fucking relapse an alcoholic yeah man alcoholics can shut the fuck up dude. yeah if you can't handle it you can't handle it say you can't, no. some guys can't handle it some guys have to stop just say no some guys can ride through it dude <laughs> <laughs> some guys can ignore all the warning signs <laughs> keep rolling dude. <laughs> what if i pull my shit out this whole room get dark kick it You don't understand. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Yeah. Just as this pussy tastes like pumpkin pie. Made me mad as hell. So don't ask me no damn question like that. I ain't never had no pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs>